everyone, hello, 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 and welcome to a live stream at night. Listen, I see you, Queenie. I see you, Carlton. I see you, Chastity. Listen, blessings to you. We are going to have some fun tonight. We're going to have, it's going to be short, but we are going to talk about scary dreams, okay? And listen, I get so many people that are writing me saying, Yvette, oh my God, I had this type of dream. What does this mean? da di da di da di da da The thing is for every single one of you is you need to learn how to master learning about yourself and what your dreams mean for you. Listen, if you know me, if you've been watching this channel, you know that I tell each and every one of you, I will never give up my dreams, okay? And the scarier the dreams are, the more I pay attention. So like, this is the topic for today, you guys. Again, I see Demi Stewart signing on. Live, laugh, and smile is here. Listen, blessings to you all. As we wait for a couple more people to join on, because I know this is late, but I want to run the rules for everyone. Basically, this is a live stream at night, and the people that are able to leave a comment are the people that are subscribed, okay? So if you're not subscribed to this channel, you cannot leave a comment, okay? So anything you have to do is subscribe, and then you can leave a comment within like a minute or two, okay? The next thing is, if you see the people that are in the green, these are my members. Any comments, I answer theirs first. And because they are members, this is what goes with the package. It doesn't mean that I'm ignoring anyone else, but it's just to let you guys know this is basically a live stream and I do address the people that are members first. And then I get to the subscribers. Blessings to you all. The other thing is I need all the comments to stay on the topic. If it's not on the topic, I'm going to overlook you. I'm going to, not going to read it, okay? Again, we want to do this. We want to have a little fun. And at the same time, we want to learn something. So are you guys ready, ready, ready? Jackie, I see you there. Don't worry about it, Jackie. I'm still going to say Jackie because you've been with me for a long time. <laughs> Clinton Hall, I see you. And let's get to this again. If you are not a subscriber, subscribe. Angie Hunt, I see you. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, and, and then you'll be able to put a comment here. The other thing is, if you see the comments that came in before on the, on the chat, it is just basically telling you if you want a coaching or reading by me, that information is there. If you want to go to my website and buy crystals or candles, anything for your spiritual knowledge, even to help yourself with dream recall, that um that is there too. The link is there. Um, if you want to do any type of shopping, okay, that link is there for Amazon. For those people that are out of the state or out of the country that want to buy crystals and candles, you can now go to my Amazon shop page and the things that I recommend, like candles, crystals, oils, things that I use in my home, everything is there. Now, listen, you guys, everything that's on my shop page on Amazon is things I have in my home, including the three moon, the three um, moon um, wall plaque that I have behind me. Everything is there. If you see Allegra back there by my YouTube plaque, that is there too. All of the things that you can't get on my website is on that Amazon page. Okay. So I just want you guys to understand that. Okay. Now, uh, other than that, um, books, I, you guys already know that I do have my 369 and it works journal. Um, a lot of per people have purchased it already. It's on Amazon. It's on Barnes and Nobles. And that link is there too. Okay. So now let's get to it. Because again, this is one of the topics that I can tell each and every one of you that I just love. And the thing is, it's those scary dreams, those horrible dreams, those dreams that you just can't fall asleep. Okay. Now for me, when I was younger, I used to have a lot of scary dreams. And oh my God, when I had these scary dreams, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't, I didn't want to stay in a room by myself. Now I welcome these type of dreams. And I am telling you to do the same thing. And we're going to talk about what you should be doing when you have a scary dream. Now, 
People might not look at their dreams the way I look at them, but I am here to tell you guys, when you have a dream and you remember it, okay, please take some time to sit there and ask yourself, what is the message behind this dream, okay? Please do, because if you don't, you are absolutely missing the point, the significance of having this dream. Now, listen, your higher self has ways of communicating with you and through your dreams, okay, is one of the ways. Now, we're talking about today scary dreams, okay? And I will tell you this, and please listen to me. When you have scary dreams, those are the dreams you really need to pay attention to, okay? Now, what I will tell you is I'm not talking about you just got finished watching The Godfather or The Omen and then you went to sleep and then you had a scary dream. No, you're processing what you gave your subconscious mind right before you went to sleep. We're not talking about those type of dreams. We're talking about the dreams where you just went to sleep and wow, you had a dream of drowning or, uh, or falling or something like that. And it just woke you up out of your sleep and you're like, oh my God, and you bust out in a sweat or you didn't want to go back to work. I mean, go back to sleep. Whatever it is, these are the type of dreams that I'm talking about. Now, let's get a little clear about the um, type of dreams that you can have, okay? So we have the normal, the normal dreams, okay? The normal dreams are your subconscious mind processing whatever it is that you went through for the day, okay? Like that scary movie, or eating while before going to sleep, or maybe you had an argument, whatever. Those type of dreams are normal dreams and your subconscious mind is just working out whatever it is that you went through that day, okay? Then we have then we have um, dreams where they are like reoccurring dreams, okay? And those are dreams that you really need to pay attention to when they're reoccurring, okay? Then we have nightmares. Nightmares we just discussed, and those are the dreams we're going to be focusing on tonight, okay? We're going to be talking about that. Then we have lucid dreams. Lucid dreams are those dreams where you feel like you are an active participant and you are consciously, you are aware, totally aware that you are having a dream. And lucid dreams are magnificent because you can actually dictate how you are in that dream, flying, you know, whatever it is you want to do in that dream. Lucid dreams are powerful, okay, you guys? And what, um, in another video, we're going to focus on lucid dreams, okay? The, ne the next type of dream is precognitive, okay? And those are the type of dreams where you are seeing the future, okay? You're like seeing the future. It's almost like, well, let's say this over again, because we have also prophecy dreams. Prophecy dreams where is actually where you are seeing the future. But the precognitive dreams, it's almost like you're seeing the future, but it's more like you feel like you've been there before, okay? Like a deja vu. Those are the type of dreams. And then we have the false awakening dreams where you feel like you're getting up, you're going to the bathroom, and then you come, you go to the bathroom, and then you actually go to eliminate to realize you were actually still asleep. You never went to the bathroom. You just were still in your bed and you had a dream of going to the bathroom and you felt like you were going to the bathroom, but instead you basically were still asleep. Sometimes people wet on themselves thinking that they are at the bathroom and they catch themselves and they're like, holy shoot, like I can't believe it. I thought I was at the bathroom. There are so many different types of dreams, everyone, and we all experience these dreams, okay? We all do. Now, let's get back to, because I have so many things. You know, we all have daydreams too. Daydreams are another type of dream where you are awake in your conscious, and then all of a sudden, you get to a point where you are day actually dreaming while you are awake, okay? And maybe five minutes went, went by and you actually did not realize that five minutes went by. This is a powerful way also for manifestation, you guys, okay? But we're not talking about that today. We're going to talk about those scary dreams, everyone. So now, again, let's get to this and I'm going to have fun with this. Now, when you have your dreams, okay, you guys, 
We are talking about the dreams that occur during your REM sleep. That's rapid eye movement, okay? You got to remember, when you go to sleep, your body goes into a sleep paralysis so that you are not able to jump up and run out the door or do whatever. But your eyes continue to move because whatever you are experiencing in your subconscious mind is basically real, okay? So when you're in a rapid eye movement, we basically know you are actually dreaming, okay? These are the type of dreams we are talking about at this moment, okay? So now I know I'm going to get a couple of people that say, oh, Yvette, I don't dream. I don't dream. I'm like, no, everyone dreams, you guys, okay? So now let's get back on topic because I can talk about dreams forever, you guys, because I just love talking about dreams. Scary dreams, again, is the type of dream that I would tell you that when I have a scary dream, I sit in my bed, no matter how bad I have to go to the bathroom. And I try to remember every single thing that I had the dream about. And then I try to write it down and then go back and try to analyze it later. Or if I don't know something, look it up. Okay. And we're going to talk about dream dictionary, dream books, and things like that. I do have a link in the description where it takes you to Amazon. It is an affiliate link. I get 10 cent, 20 cent. I don't know what they give me. Um, but all the dream books are there, including this one. And this is the book that I've used for many, many, many years. Now, when it comes down to scary dreams, your subconscious mind is trying to get you to understand something. Okay, you guys? trying to understand something. And this is important. When you have a scary dream and it's reoccurring, meaning not the same dream, but similar, something chasing you, you running. And then the next day or two days later, you have a dream of something chasing you, you're running. These are reoccurring dreams and they're scary dreams because they're trying to get your attention. So now, Usually it's a sign from your higher, higher, your higher self, your subconscious mind that something needs to be addressed. Okay. Or it could be a warning. Okay. So now let's get to some of these types of dreams. And I see the comments there, you guys. I, I love you too, sister. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. Um, chase dreams. Okay. This is one of the dreams that a lot of people have. Right now, I'm having those dreams and they're reoccurring, okay? So I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, what is, what is this trying to tell me? When you are having chase dreams, I'm going to tell you this right now. Most of the time when you're having that type of dream, you are running from yourself, okay? Stay with me now, you guys. Most of the time, the things in your dreams are signs and symbols of yourself. And I'm talking about the daytime, the nighttime, the time on the clock, what you're driving, where you are. Most of the things in your dream represent you, okay? So when you are running away from something in a dream, most likely you're running away from yourself, okay? You guys got to stick with me because if you guys understand these things, you guys will actually... um be, you guys will actually figure out what the dream is trying to tell you. Just like the Wizard of Oz, they did all this work to happen to pull back the curtain to see a little man standing on a stool. Dark Vader, Luke Skywalker running after Dark Vader to find out he takes the mask off after all these movies or series they had ends up being his father, a replica of himself. Dreams are basically the same, everyone. When you are having a chase dream, most likely you're running from yourself. I don't care if it's a monster. I don't care if it's a dog or a cat. Something is running behind you. And when it's chasing you, most likely it's chasing you because you are not acknowledge, acknowledging something about yourself. Okay? Let's just say there's a part of you that you are hiding. There's a part of you that you're not allowing to be expressed because of ridicule, of being afraid or worrying about that part of you not being giving, not getting, getting attention. So that part of you 
is a power that is building up inside of you. And as it builds up inside of you, it, be, it, it, it shows expression in your dreams, okay? This is where that part of you is allowed to express itself. So what does it do? It runs behind you. It's running after you because it needs to be expressed. And then once you get over that, that type of dream fades away. Now, people have a lot of chase dreams when they are moving, when, when they're going through a change in life, when they are about to embark on something new and different. Those chase dreams happen to a lot of people, especially when you're young and you're entering the workforce or you're about to move or you're about to get married. A lot of times you people have these chase dreams is because they're not acknowledging something about themselves or they're feeling like some part of them is foreign to them and they are having these types of dreams. If you guys understand what I'm saying, give me a thumbs up. The main thing I want you to take from the chase dreams is it's a dream letting you know something about you you're not allowing to be expressed. So what does it do? It comes after you in your sleep, in your dreams, trying to be expressed. Okay. When I had, um, when I was getting intuitive um, things about myself writing, okay, I was getting or starting my business doing this because this is who I am. So I told you guys in my other videos, I did this since 14 years old, 14 years old. This is who I am. It was taboo to talk about crystals, candles, and and all dreams and all this other stuff because they looked at you like you were different, a witch or whatever they want to call you. They looked at you different. So I tend to do what I do, but it was never out in the open. Now I'm out in the open and I don't care, okay? So what it is is that as I got older, I was getting these chase dreams, chase dreams, chase dreams, that was telling me, be who you are. This is who you are. You hiding who you are. And it kept chasing me, chasing me until I allowed myself to be expressed. So right now I'm going through a transition again. I'm about to retire everyone from being a nurse practitioner. So this, again, I started having the chase dreams, everyone, because now I'm about to go out and do something different in my life. Okay. So the chase dreams are there. So I want you guys to understand why you're having a chase dream. And if you are, I need you to sit back and say, why, what am I running away from? What am I not allowing about myself to be expressed? Okay. And you guys can also look at what is chasing you to get more feedback on what is going on and what else in the dreams. Again, Daytime, nighttime, car, bus. Are you running? Are you jumping on a bus? What does a bus do? A bus takes a whole lot of a whole lot of people in the same direction. So you are going along with the crowd. You are not being authentic. Okay. So you got to put these things together. And once you do, you can say, wow, I can't believe it. Yvette was right. <laughs> so now. Enough of the chase dream. We can talk about that if somebody has a, um, some questions a little later, okay? The next thing that I want to talk about that a lot of people have, and that is the drowning dream, okay? And it goes right into the water, okay? Now, when we talk about water, everyone, water is your emotions, okay? That's all you need to know. Water is your emotions, okay? Okay? Okay, so when we're talking about water, you really need to pay attention and you're drowning because, again, we're talking about scary dreams. Okay, we're not talking about the other dreams, we're talking about scary ones. You're drowning. Okay, my whole thing is what is it about you that you are allowing to overcome you? Okay, you're drowning. That means something is going on inside of you that you feel like you cannot handle, you feel like you're overwhelmed and you are drowning. It means just that. Now, we're looking at um, a tsunami. Okay, you guys? I had a tsunami dream one time. And this is a dream. It's more like a warning. What is a tsunami does, you guys? And again, you have to start looking at your dreams this way. 
What does a tsunami does? A tsunami is in the water. It comes. It's a force. It's a powerful force, you guys. It comes into the land, destroys everything, and then takes it back out into the sea. And then it's gone. Okay? Tsunamis, if I had a tsunami dream, I'd be like, oh my God, what is about to happen? What is about to happen? And I might make sure things are in order because something is about to happen, you guys, because whatever is going on in your life, a tsunami is a powerful natural disaster that is uh, that could be happening in your life, but it's powerful. It's so powerful, it will wake you up in your sleep, okay? this You guys got to understand how these things work, you guys. So when I sit back and I had a dream of, if I have a dream about a tsunami, I'm going to wake up and say, whoa, what is going on? And I'm going to tell you this right now. Because a tsunami takes place in the water, we are now, we are still looking at my emotions. Am I about to explode? What is it about me that is about to just wreak havoc in my life? What is it that I need to process because I'm about to lose it? So when you see a tsunami in your dream, think to yourself, me, what is it that is about to happen with me? Am I losing control? Am I about to explode? What is it? Is, is something in my life about to just be boom? What is going on? And start paying attention and start looking at the little details around to put, put, put things all together. Okay. If you understand what I'm saying, give me a thumbs up. Again, when we're talking about drowning, it's almost like, what is it that you cannot take any longer that you feel like you totally lost control? And then I'm asking you to look further in it. But we are looking at scary dreams. And that's why I'm mentioning drowning, um, tsunamis, okay? That's why I'm talking about these type of dreams. Now, bad weather is another one very similar to the tsunami dream. When we're talking about a twister, okay, or a tornado or a hurricane, we're talking about things that just wrecking havoc in your life. So when I get dreams like this, I am actually saying to myself, what the heck is about to go on? Universe, my higher self, what are you warning me about? Is it something inside of me? Is it something around my job? What is it that you're warning me about that might be about to happen or is building up? You have to remember tsunamis, hurricanes, tornadoes, they start as energy, okay? They And they build the energy up, build up, build up, build up. And then when they get to the point where they explode, they cause a lot of damage, okay? These type of dreams, you should really have no problem understanding what they are and they should not be ignored. Not at all. These type of dreams, okay, you guys, because they're letting you know something is about to happen. It could be on the external, at your job, with your family. Something is about to happen to wreak havoc in your life. And it may just be you, okay? Listen, I can't take any bet. My mother's coming at me. My brother's coming at me. My job's coming at me. I just don't know what the heck is going on. I can't take it. I can't take it. Wow. You end up in a hospital with a nervous breakdown. Okay. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you guys? How your subconscious mind can give you warnings about what is to come, but it's not going to say, Carlton, um, you know, you're about to have a nervous breakdown. It's not going to say St. Marquise. Um, you know what? You need to go and take a break because you're about to lose it. It's not going to say that. It's going to come as symbols and the symbols are going to be reflected when you are about to lose it. It's going to be reflected in a, a, a tsunami, a hurricane, a tornado. These are, these are powerful sources that when it explodes, it wreaks havoc and everything is basically torn apart. So that is what I want to tell you. Now, listen, you guys. If you understand what I'm telling you, you would understand that these dreams are important. These dreams are powerful. These dreams are the type of dreams that you really need to understand. Me walking around, smiling in a dream or driving a car. Yes, I want to know those dreams, but I really want to know, wow, what the heck is going on? Okay. 
when I had the dream of falling down, falling off of um, Niagara Falls, it was letting me know I was getting ready to go through a setback. Okay. And it was the setback was within me. Okay. And then it took a year, year and a half for me to get back on track. I had that same dream. It was like a continuation of that dream, letting me know that I was actually going to meet my ship, that same ship that I lost when I fell off the Niagara Falls. Okay. So it was letting me know you're getting back on track event. Okay. Now it's time for you to step back up. Okay. So now the falling dreams, again, you're falling, you wake up and you, you feel like, wow, I actually feel like I just fell and you fall and fall and fall and fall and fall and fall. Basically again, losing control. You guys pay attention to what's going on. Is it daylight? Daylight means something in your conscious. Nighttime means something that you are not giving, um, that you're not basically realizing that it's going on. Something you're hiding within yourself, that you're not allowing it to surface. Whatever it is, subconscious, night, daytime, conscious mind, okay? You're falling. If I have a dream and I'm falling and it's daytime, I'm going to start looking at my job, my family, things on the things on the outside of me. Okay. And then I'm going to also look at myself, things that I may be doing that I need to address when I'm falling and it's nighttime. I want to sit back and I want to say, Hey, look, what's going on inside of me that I am not expressing. What is it that's going on? Do I need to talk to somebody? Am I, am I having post-traumatic syndrome? What's going on that I'm not paying attention to. Okay. And it's the same thing when going in a basement, going down, all of these things, you guys, you have to understand the scariest dreams are the ones that are really trying to get your attention to tell you, hey, look, you need to pay attention to this. Now, I will tell you guys this. When you have a scary dream and it is reoccurring, you really need to pay attention, you guys. It's because they're trying, your subconscious mind is trying to get your attention. And a lot of times people overlook it, okay? Now, let's talk about another scary dream, and that is the assault, okay? Somebody wrote kidnapping, okay? All of these fit amongst the whole, in the same category, I'm going to tell you now, when you're dreaming about kidnapping, okay, most of the time, it's not a precognitive or, or a prophecy dream. It can be, but most of the time, again, things you see going on in your dreams usually is, is a reflection of yourself, okay? Kidnapping, okay? What is it that you are doing to yourself or allowing others to do to yourself? in the daytime. Okay. So kidnapping. So it's, it's, it's almost like, what is it that you are allowing other people to take from you mentally, physically, emotionally, that is kidnapping. Kidnapping is losing control. Hey, look, you're in an abusive um, a relationship. You keep having dreams about kidnapping. What is that? Who is the kidnapper? The kidnapper is basically you and you are allowing other people to take something from you, either your self-worth. Most of the time it's self-worth. It's something going on where you're allowing something to happen. Okay. Again, you have free will. And when you have kidnapped dreams, you say to yourself, what is it that I'm allowing others to do to me? What is it that I am allowing to happen to myself? What is it that I feel like I'm giving my power to? And these are the things you should start asking yourself. When it comes down to an, an assault, okay, it is basically look at the whole dream, the assault. Try to put the things together. What was going on when this assault happened, okay? Most of the time, an assault is killing off something or attacking something within yourself that needs to be dealt with, okay? Maybe you have a serious problem. In your dreams, your, your, your subconscious mind is killing off or, or assaulting that part of you that needs to be addressed, okay? So when you have dreams of assault, dreams of being raped, again, it all boils down to what is it that you are allowing a part of yourself to be 
taken advantage of or you giving your power away. Okay. And you need to look at this. And again, your subconscious mind, your higher self, the guardian angels are not going to say, um, Ariel, um, basically we're going to give you this kidnap dream and it's going to be to let you know that you are basically, um, allowing others to take things from you mentally, emotionally, and you need to stop. It's not going to say that you're going to have reoccurring dreams of kidnapping, kidnapping what? Kidnapping you, kidnapping what part of me? Kidnapping my emotions, kidnapping my mental, uh, my 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 psych, kidnapping my my sexuality, kidnapping a part of me. Okay, and that's what it is. Again, everything in your dream represents something about you. Again, we got all different type of dreams, you guys. Prophecy dream, precognitive, deja vu. You feel like you've been there before. But when we're talking about these scary, scary, scary dreams, the dreams are either to warn you or most of the time it's to let you know something about you needs to change. Something about you needs to be addressed. OK, and remember, if you look at all of these things as a part of yourself, you will understand your dreams. I am getting the chase dream right now and I'm like, OK. This is the third dream, okay, within the last week and a half. Like, okay, what is going on? And then the only thing I can say is like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is it that I'm doing? I'm getting ready to retire. Okay, what is it that's going on in my life? What am I What am I not allowing to be expressed? What is it that I need to do? Do I need to sit down and figure out where I'm going to go with my life? Maybe I'm doing something that really don't want to do it. What is it that you're trying to tell me about me? Am I supposed to be doing something else? Am I supposed to be writing more books? What is it that I'm supposed to be doing? Okay. And there goes the chase dream. Who am I running away from? I'm running away from myself. I'm running away from that power inside of me that I'm not allowing to be expressed. Kidnapping dreams are the same thing. Why, who am I allowing to um, take a part of me away? Okay. OK, you have family members. They're telling you, oh, no, you can't do this because we need you to do that. You can't go on trips because you need to stay and take care of such and such. How is that going to be processed in your sleep? More as a kidnapping, more as an assault. OK, you guys, if you understand what I'm saying, give me that thumbs up, you guys. Assault dreams are powerful, you guys. I don't care if it's kidnapping, raping. OK, and it takes us into the death dream. OK, and this is another powerful dream that I'm telling you every single person should understand when you have a dream about a death. And I'm going to tell you, it might be a prophecy dream. OK, it might be. OK, I can't tell you it might be. But for me, when I have a dream about death, I see black, a lot of black. When I say black, the black is just as black as this phone. It's to the point, it's blacker than that. It's, it's to the point where you can't even see your hand in front of your face. So when I have a dream about black, I'm going to see something in it that is jet black. Okay, jet black. And usually whatever it is that is talking about, it's where, whatever it is that's going on, I usually get something in the dream to give me an idea of what is going to die. OK, so when I have a dream about death, it's not actually a death. When you have a dream about death, most of the time a death is a transformation, you guys. OK, the old you must die for the new you to arise. Maybe you have a drinking problem. The old you is that part of you that needed to go, okay? And now the new you is alive, okay? So when you have a, a death dream, it's almost like you're not going to be there. It's like you are basically there. You are basically going through a transition or about to approach a transition and your subconscious mind is giving you the death dream, letting you know, this is now over. This part of you died. Okay. And it is just that simple. I had a dream before of a situation that I was in and it needed to go. It was around for a long time and it needed to go. What happened? I had a dream 
of that person going into the cornfield. I was like, cornfield? And you know what? That person was out of my life. Okay? So it was not like a death. It was more like everyone is different. But when I dream of death, it's never in the sign of a death. It's when I dream of a death, that is basically a part of me needed to go. A part of me needed to die. Okay? If you understand what I'm saying, give me that thumbs up, you guys. Give me that thumbs up. Remember, you guys, when you are here having this human experience, you are not alone. There is your higher self that's there supporting you, your guardian angels, your arch archangel, your deceased loved ones. All of these things are communicating with you while you are asleep, okay? And again, we're talking about scary dreams because so don't say, oh, we bet you didn't mention that you didn't mention that. No, because we're talking about scary dreams, okay? And I want you guys to understand, do not be afraid of your scary dreams. Your scary dreams is a replica of you. And it is something telling you about you, okay? Something telling you some, uh, something about you that you are not acknowledging during your awakening, okay? So when you're awake, you are not acknowledging these things going on, okay? And, and again, it could be a prophecy dream, okay, you guys? It, so many types of dreams that you might have a dream. Like when I had my car accident in um, um, 2018, 2018, I had a car accident. I had an accident in my dream. The, it was so strong, I woke up. And I can actually feel the hit on the back of my neck, okay? And I said, wow, I had a dream that I had an accident. Uh, sound like a bad accident. And I was very careful. What happened? Somebody hit me in the back, totaled out my car. I had herniated disc in my neck. The person took off. I chased the person with a car that was falling apart. He got caught. And the whole thing is, is that I had the dream. It was a prophecy dream, okay? So when the accident happened, where did I got injured? The back of my neck, okay? Okay, I just had another dream that I had a fender bender, okay? It was recent, about a month ago. What happened? My car got tapped at the car wash, going through the car wash. They left the brakes on. They didn't put the car in neutral behind me and the car went through the car wash and hit my car. They paid for everything. It was fine. It wasn't nothing serious, but there was that dream. So here it is. I had that dream and I said, okay, somebody's going to tap me. It's not going to be serious, but somebody's going to hit me. The dream was letting me know something was about to happen, but it wasn't that serious. Not like the one that I had in, in 2018. So what I'm telling you, your dreams can tell you a whole lot about yourself. The more you pay attention to your dreams, the more guidance you're going to get. The more you learn about dream recall, the more you're going to start getting dreams and having dreams about yourself, okay? It is just that simple, you guys. Let me tell you this. I will never give, give up my dreams. That is something that I will never, ever, ever give up. I'm telling you guys that right now. If you don't, if you watch my channel, if you watch my videos, you would know that I will not give up my dreams. And that should be a hint to you. If you want to know what direction you're going in, if you want to know what's going on in your life or where you stand at this point, start working with your dreams. I cannot tell you enough. Okay? So now some people are saying, Yvette, like what type of dream books do you have at your house? This is one book that I had, oh my God, I would say I had this book for maybe, um, I had this book for about 25, 25 years, okay? This is the book. Now I do a lot of things on Google and, you know, like that, and I am a, um, a Carl Young fan. I am totally a Carl Young fan. So what I'm telling you is for me doing a lot of reading using Carl Jung, okay? And that's J-U-N-G, J-U-N-G, okay? But it's called, it's called Jung, 
okay? But it's J-U-N-G, okay? The, another book that I have at my house is 11 Dreams Explained, um, 10,000 Dreams Explained. I have another one, um, Dictionary of Dreams, a 10,000 Dreams Interpreted, okay? I have another one here, um, Big Dictionary of Dreams, okay? So let me just tell you, when it comes down to dreams, I have a lot of dream books. Again, if you want to start doing dream recall, I advise you guys to get yourself a journal. This is one of my cousins, one of her journals that I've been using that I showed you guys is on Amazon. And you put it right next to your nightstand and you wake up and you write sky, dark, sun, falling, climbing, all of these things. OK, you start writing and it doesn't make it doesn't matter if it doesn't make any sense. Everything in your dream repli re rep represents you. OK, so if I have a dream and I remember daylight consciousness going down in the basement, subconscious in the attic, ambition, but having things blocking me from getting going any higher. What is the attic does? The attic is going up as ambition. But at the same time, there's a roof there stopping me from going any further. Windows, I'm seeing more, I'm seeing more, I'm, I'm, my, my motivation, or I'm seeing more than what is around me at this point. I'm walking through the door, doors are opportunities. So just by learning about the signs, you, the, the, the signs you're getting, you can start putting things together, you guys. And it's just that simple. So you don't have to say, hey, Vet, I had a dream that I was in the car and then the car shut off. And then you, you don't have to do that. Car. Who was driving? Were you driving? Was somebody else driving? Did it shut off? Did you park? What is it? Because again, your car represents you. Car represents movement in your life. Your house. Your house is you. Each room represents you. Living room, uh, relationships, okay? Bedroom is sexuality, okay? All of these things. Bathroom is releasing, letting go of things that you need to let go of. Because what do you do? You release, defecate, urinate. You let go. You wash yourself. This is letting go. So once you start understanding these things, you guys, you will be amazed, okay? Just start writing things down, you guys. Start just write. Take a book. And I have a book in my bedroom, which I should have brought with me. Um, and that book is just for dreams, okay? I don't use this for dreams right now. I use this one for scripting. And I use these for scripting, okay? These two books, if I'm using these two techniques. Again, these are in the description. And um, I use this for appointments, okay? Um, but I have an actual book. That is just for dreams, okay? So listen, what? how much the book cost? $6, $7, and it is my dream book, okay? And I, I, I will let you guys know, I do have a dream book coming out, and I advise you guys to get it and start using it. It is created just for you guys to start writing out what you had a dream about and start figuring out what that dream means to you. And it's just that simple. Before I get ready to go, I'm going to go through some of the comments. But I will tell you guys to please like, subscribe, tap the bell, you guys. Again, if you see something that says products, that actually, while I'm talking, it will bring up products where you will see also the triple moon behind me, candles for success, affirmations for success, all of those things that are, some of them are on my site. They are in the YouTube product thing and on Amazon in that link. So you don't even have to leave the video. You can actually see the products there for a lot of people that want products to help themselves, okay? So now let's get to some of these comments right here, and I'm not going to keep you guys long. Again, we have members. We have Carlton Atkins, Chastity, Live, Laugh, Smile, Denise Stewart, um, Clinton Hall, Angie Hunt, um, Live, Laugh, Smile says, my relationship just ended back in October. God revealed to me in many, many dreams before and after he walked out. We were together for 10 years, so he left me in October, recently married now. Listen, happened to me too, <laughs> okay? I had a dream that he jumped in the car, took off, and I was like, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? The whole nine, okay? Letting you know warning you that this is this relationship is over again it's some part of you that 
is over, okay? You have to remember that. Another thing, having dreams about snakes. People say, oh my God, you better have a dream about snakes. Snakes can mean enemies, okay? But for me, what does a snake do? A snake sheds its skin. So for me, when I have a snake dream, I might wake up and be like, whoa, I had a dream about a snake. But I'm going to look at it more as a transformation, a part of me that is shedding off so that I can move on. It is just that simple, you guys, okay? Even dreams about animals chasing you, lions and tigers and powerful animals. Again, these are all parts of you trying to be expressed. And again, it can mean emotions because emotions erupt. And they could come out as a as a strong, powerful animal. Okay, so um, uh, what we have here, we got a lot of thumbs up. Yes, I have a lot of reoccurring dreams. Okay, I'm going to go right up, right along, so we can just keep going on with the, with everything. Okay, you guys hope you don't mind. I have somebody says good night. Um, good night, even hello. I'm glad I'm here to join in. Blessings to you, and thank you for being here. God bless. Somebody said God bless. Having a kidnapped dream, we address that. We have Denise Stewart here, Chastity Carlton, St. Marquise is here, um, Live, Laugh, Smile, Angie Hunt. Carlton Atkins says, once had a dream of combat, um, perhaps thoughts of being reactive back in the Air Force satellite communications. Listen, again, those are kind of could be like a deja vu dream, feeling like you've been there before, okay? Maybe you're processing it. Maybe you were thinking about it. Maybe it was normal because that's part of your normal life. But at the same time, for me, I would look at that dream and I would say, okay, what is going on in my life that I feel like I have to defend myself? Or what is going on in my life that I feel like I'm at odds with myself? And I would look at those things because there's a possibility those that dream could have meant that you were in a battle. And that battle, most of the time, is involving yourself. Okay? So just to throw that out at you, okay? <laughs> okay, a lot of thumbs up. Is having reoccurring prophet, prophetic visions the same? Prophetic visions is a little different because that's during the conscious waking hour. That's not during your dreams, okay? Because we are talking about dreams. People could actually be in the car and have a um, prophet um, vision. Uh, that's different from a dream. And there's many people that can do that. Everybody can. I can look at some people sometimes and I can see something. And a lot of times when you do, a lot of people wipe um, they, they wipe it off and they act like they're just their mind playing games with them. But most of the time it is a vision. Okay. Angie said, I love this. <laughs> I love it, Angie. Okay. Live Last Smile said, yes, yeah, snake dream was a woman and she had a baby and, and she had a baby snake. Okay, so when you have something like that, I might will look at that a little bit as what did the snake look like? Okay, was it a red snake? A red snake. You know somebody with red hair? Okay, the snake had spots. You know somebody with freckles or had moles or something like that? The snake had baby snakes. Okay, do you know somebody that have children that's been giving you a hard time or somebody that's around you that had that um, have children, because then that dream would tell me, hey, look, maybe you shouldn't trust this person as much as you should, as you as you are, okay? So again, this could be a prophecy dream or it could be a transformation, okay? So now having a dream about snakes with little baby snakes could be a transformation for new ideas, new opportunities coming. What is a baby? A baby is always new opportunities, new beginnings, okay? So that that snake dream could have been a new opportunity for you. The only way you're going to know is you write it down and then you see what happens in your life. And then you say, wow, Yvette, I had a dream about snakes and babies. And all of a sudden I got a new opportunity that came to me that opened the doors for everything for me. Then you can say, Yvette, that dream meant a, a transformation and that new ideas and new opportunities were coming my way. It is just that simple, you guys, just that simple. OK, if you have somebody around you, then you can say, OK, maybe I need to keep this person a little far from me at this moment. No, you know, I can keep her around me, but at the same time, be aware that there's a possibility that she could be a snake in the grass. OK, listen, I know people that had dreams about insects, OK, including myself and just had an insect right there. Sorry about that. And um, and and you can actually see who later on realized who the who the insects were okay okay white white roaches put it that way what is a what is an insect an insect is a nuisance okay 
And then you can look at that bug to see if that bug gives you any idea of where it's coming from, okay? Was the bug clear? Was it beige? Was it white? Okay, those are little signs that people overlook and they're overlooking what it actually means because it's actually giving you a hint who they're talking about, okay? Um, hi from Barbados. Hello, hello, Barbados. I often dream of water. Again, when, you, when you're dreaming of water, just remember, water is your emotions, okay? Being overwhelmed, okay? If the water is calm and cool and, and just pleasant, just know that you have a clear road ahead. But if you're in a tsunami where everything just gets devastated, know that something is about to happen in your life, okay? Know that things are just going to explode. It might be you. It might be your inner self that explodes, okay? If you're drowning, that's just basically you just can't take anymore, okay? And you probably need to spend some time taking a break, relaxing, so that you don't become overwhelmed. All of these things I'm trying to tell you guys, when you have a scary dream, the dream is a warning. A dream is just guidance telling you, hey, look, you're going in the wrong direction. Hey, look, you need to show it. You need to give expression to this part of you. Maybe you are bisexual, okay? And you're hiding that part of yourself. That is the chase dream. You running behind yourself, okay? Getting, trying to get expression, okay? These are the type of dream, kidnapping dreams, assault, murder, murder. What part of you is being murdered off, okay? Murder, just remember, you have a dream about a murder. Pay attention to all the parts in the dreams about the murder because it is like what is being murdered. And if it's a person, say to yourself, what, what, do, I, what do I have in common with this person? Okay, because that person is a symbol of what it re, what it what it represents of you. Okay, maybe that's your drinking partner, and he was murdered. That part of you needs to go. Okay, so you need to start understanding these things. Okay, um, hi, Auntie. What if you dream of people who have passed on? Okay, the, um, I have dreams of people that passed on, and it could be different things. It could be guidance again. If you have guidance, you pay attention to what they're saying, what's what's going on in the dream, daylight, nighttime, driving, whatever. Pay attention to all this thing because it could be guidance. The other thing is sometimes you have a dream about a person in your dream and that person, whatever that person represents in your life when that person was alive, you need to start paying attention to yourself in your life. Maybe that person had died of colon cancer. OK, I might would go and have my colon checked out if I haven't had it check, checked out recently. Maybe that person had a drinking problem or had a problem or, or was getting divorced or had a cheating husband that cheated on him all the time. You might you might have a dream of this person because this person is actually representing something that is going on in your life. Again, this is guidance. OK, but you have to pay attention to it. They're coming back. Maybe not giving you a message, but what do that person indicate to you? Okay. And then you can pick it up and say, wow, okay, I got you, Yvette. I already know the answer. <laughs> and I bet you already know the answer by now. Okay. Somebody said brown spots. I guess the snake had had a fear of me. The, oh, that's, that's a great thing when the snake was afraid of you. That's a great thing. The dream was actually scary. I dreamed the, the world was coming to an end and the sky was orange. Orange is a good color for motivation, okay? Uh, absolutely terrifying. Again, you're going to start looking at that dream, okay? Start looking at that dream. Start seeing what was going on. Um, from this little twerp right here, um, I basically, listen, literally, the world is not coming to an end, okay? So you need to basically see what's going on. And I will tell you right now, orange is the number, is the color of success, of motivation, okay? So start looking at things at your job. And I'm not throwing the jinx on you. Start seeing what's going on, coming to an end. It was scary. Things were coming to an end. Okay, is your job talking about relocating? Is your job talking about closing down? Start looking at little things like that, okay? And then say to yourself, okay, what does this dream mean? And what is it that I need to do? Okay. And then start taking action. Okay. Um, 
Somebody said, I'm going to connect with you soon. Oh, live, laugh, and smile. I would love to connect with you, okay? I would love to connect with you. Again, so listen, everyone. This dream was about scary dreams. And it was, I am here today, tonight, during Live at Night with Yvette to give you guys some information on scary dreams and why you should not ignore it. I hope this live stream was great for all of you guys. If so, just give me that thumbs up. And again, if you want some more videos like this live at night, just put yes in the um, comment in the comment section. So I know to throw out some live at night videos for you guys. I try to do one a month or something like that. But by me knowing this, I know that, you know, you guys want the live at night. But until then, I will see you guys next Sunday. If you don't know, I'm live every Sunday morning for live live Sundays, okay? We, we stick with spiritual topics on Sundays and it's things that help you grow with your manifestations, with your life, everything is there, okay? So blessings to you all. Don't forget if you want some good dream books, I do have a link for Amazon to get my 10 cent. <laughs> and blessings to you guys all and enjoy your night.